I hope you're well. I hope you've been looking after yourself and that you've had a good week. You're joining me as we enter the River Trent. So our first stop is Shardlow and I think you'll want to see this village, it's special. Existing as a natural crossing even in the Bronze Age, this once river port became a very busy wharf during the 1770 opening of the Trent and Mersey Canal. where wide boats from the river would stop to meet narrow boats on the canal and goods would be loaded and swapped. And Shardlow became the centre for many different workers. And in this building here, the bell would ring every day to let the workers know when to commence and end their work. When you visit Shardlow, I think it's impossible not to get completely transported back to its history. It's just beautiful. Not only is the lot beautiful, this particular junction is just stunning. There's a weir to the left, I'll show you.
Schaf's Ball. And this on the right hand side is Sawley Waterside and Marina, so I think we're going to look for somewhere to moor around here. Now this is a very special boat and I'm going to find out a bit more about this boat in a minute, so stay tuned. So not only is this mooring really beautiful, it's just so different to where we were moored last week and that's a really lovely thing about keeping on moving is that you moor in these really different places. But not only is it beautiful, it's also right next to a really interesting boat with a fantastic story and project and I'm going to take you there and show you. <laughs> right, so this is Andy, this is the gentleman who has come up with this amazing idea. So let's Hello. have a look, <laughs> so let's have a look inside. So Andy Flint five months ago came up with an idea that has struck a chord with the canal and river community and that was to take unused boats, boats that were at the end of their life, restore them and then give them to homeless ex-service people. But this boat has rather a special story. Okay. Interestingly, the water tanks, uh, these four seats are all interconnected. Windows you say are original? 1870 Birmingham tram windows. Uh, oh, 18. And they have the best winding mechanism ever. Really? Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. And you're going to keep all these features, oh, yes. aren't we, you? We're trying that, our best. Um, we just want some new frames to Yeah, yeah, so they don't along. leak. So not only was she a coal butty, she then had 57 years of family holidays and look at the badges to show for it. Yeah, is that the toilet? That's the toilet, yes. Yeah, right, and it's even got a fake sign on it. I just love oh, that. Sorry. Oh my goodness. The best feature I love about this boat, if you're reading the book at night, plant your book up there, little reading like oh, there. Oh wow. I think that's super it's to so store well a book. About. Should be arriving tomorrow actually. Right, so Monday. you'll have four brand new Matches. Simba mattresses. Oh, my mum's coming up Thursday to give it a massive clean before Is we she? sit them on. Oh. You know what mums are like, they've yeah, <laughs> wardrobe. Handmade curtains, they're lovely. And the previous owners of this boat were engineers, so they kept diagrams and look at the engine room. An old Lister P3, oh my goodness. Look at Perkins, I always forget. Drill bits and screws labelled and... <laughs> wow, look at that. This is a like paradise cave, isn't it, for oh, it engine is. lovers? We're still finding stuff <laughs> in there. Yeah. And... 1921 boat with a bow thruster oh made goodness. out of two old car starter motors. Really? A lady called Christine has made this quilt for free for the boat. She's also made bunting which runs alongside the windows. The people that towed the boat here in the first place did that for free. And then engineers and boat builders will give their time for nothing in order to give an ex-vet a home. A wonderful project, really run by wonderful people. It's so heartwarming.
as Mr. Mindful has made me these beautiful vegetable boxes, I'm going to take a short walk to an honesty plant shop I found. Catkin fluff confetti on water coloured lime. Dust islands caress the swan on her nest by the Trent and Mersey sign. And in the lock behind her, where a chestnut guards the gate, with blossoms ablaze, a cream white cascade, and shade for a boater to wait, Sedge Warbler takes to a railing, throwing its verse from its throat. For days is arrived, a tow by her side, let's welcome this old narrow boat. She's carrying memories so cherished, love galvanised to her steel. Now she waits the return of a mate at her stern to share the water's appeal. Mm -hmm. 